All right, it is ISO day three. And today for my, for my walk, I'm thinking I'm gonna head up the hill just above me here. Uh, have a look. Because on most days I see jackdaws gathering in some of the, some of the larch trees up there. So on my walk today, I'm gonna head up there, try and get some photos of them. So let's head on up. Geese flying over. Just heard my first chiff chaff of the year. Hopefully, I'll hear it again. Alright, now for the hard part. Walking straight up. I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to talk too much. While I walk up these hills because I realize I get so out of breath and it's just embarrassing filming the whole thing. So I'm gonna put this camera down and film more further up. The really nice oak forest just in the lower part here. Quite an old one. It's quite extensive. So we actually got quite a few birds here that aren't that widespread in Scotland. I don't know if you can hear the jackdaws up there. You can also see them flying about. Just had a couple of roe deers run, run in front of me as well. Quite far away though. They noticed me coming a mile away. So but it's good to know kind of where they are, and maybe I can approach from a different angle next time, and a lot quieter. But the forest has changed quite a bit now. I've come up from the oak forest. There's a small transition into a birch. And then the pine forest is here behind me now. Really nice habitat and lots of diversity here. Loads of different species. So a really good area and I'd really like to come and explore this place. So I need to find somewhere that's a ledge that's pretty safe to sit on behind here and avoid all the loose big boulders. I think I see where I'm going to go already. I can even see jackdaws are at my kind of level, height level here. That's what I want. I really want to get to eye level with the jackdaws. And then hopefully I can use the hills on the other side as my background, unless I photograph sideways and use implement some of the trees and the cliffs itself in my in my composition. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out um, my Patreon site. I upload videos there, and that is basically just for improving as a wildlife photographer. And we go over three main learning pathways, which is the technical, all about camera settings, and then we got composition, everything we include into our frame, and then thirdly, field skills, which is more about finding wildlife and getting close to them. So, if you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link, um, have a look, and if it's for you, then awesome, have a look, sign up, and you can always cancel at any time. So, thanks for checking it out. I think I want to be up there, so let's walk back and around a bit. Try not to spook everything on my approach. You can see 
steer, use this path here. I'm just following that up. Buzzard up ahead as well. I can just hear it. Jackdaws fly over me. I can hear jays as well down the way. I think I'm gonna move though, because I just can't look at these rocks behind me and not think that they're just gonna tumble over at some point. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go find a place where I feel a little bit more safe, um, and I think a little bit further up. And then hopefully that'll give me a bit better view as well. So I'm just going to pack this up and move out the way. I know those rocks have probably been there for a long time and won't come down for a long time either, but I just can't relax. So I'm going to move to a slightly better position hopefully a slightly better vantage point as well. So, let's go. I see so much deer dropping here. That definitely gonna come back up here one day. Even camo clothing and just sit and wait. Hopefully photograph some deer. I think I may have just spooked loads of jackdaws that were sitting below me. Hopefully, I can sit down here, just relax and we'll come back at some point. So you can see those larch trees, the bare trees there, that are empty now. A lot of the jackdaws tend to sit in those trees. And then apparently, they also sit below here. I didn't know that. And I must have spooked up. I did not even try to count them, but it looked like a hundred. Um, so now they're scattered a little bit, but I can hear them around. They're still flying. It looks like they're gonna they're gonna get down into the larch in a little bit. I might need to use my teleconverter if they're gonna sit in that larch and see if I can get any good images while they're perch. If not, though, my original plan is to try and capture them in flight. They fly a little bit back and forth. Um, and then I'm just gonna enjoy the view. I know there's no sun out, but I always put this on just to protect it because I'm clumsy and I knock into things. Buzzard is just circling and all the jackdaws are mobbing it. Should have probably bought some camouflage, or at least some camo scrim here. Just forgot. I could have helped a lot because when they get close, they're probably going to see me, and then they're just going to kind of swerve around me. Which is amazing, I just had a flock of migrating geese pass by. Such a good vantage point, it's so much fun to be up here. <laughs> really do get like a bird's eye view sitting up here. Just getting geese passing by at my eye level. Unfortunately, we're almost on the other side of the valley here. Um, I don't think, I couldn't quite identify them, but they didn't look like grey leg. I think they had a darker head than grey legs. Um, I probably can't make it off from the video that I took. Uh, it could be most likely pinkfoots, uh, pink-footed geese then. Uh, 
can be 100%. I was focusing on filming and then brought my binoculars up afterwards to have a better look and by then they were a bit further away. Quite a few missing from what was here earlier. But maybe they'll come back. It's a bit chilly sitting still for a long time, but I'm really enjoying this. Like the view you get from the jackdaws here, from just any birds that come here is amazing. And several times now I've seen the buzzer start circling upwards, just starting way below me. It's absolutely amazing. I think I'll just have one more cup of coffee and then head back down. Um, hopefully these aren't, hopefully these videos aren't too rushed. They feel a little bit rushed to me because I'm trying to cram it all in in one day. Uh, I don't think I'm managing to get the greatest photos um, because I'm trying to cram so much in with the video, the filming and then back home and the editing afterwards. But that's totally okay. I don't mind that because I'm just really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the, the uh, I'm really enjoying these walks out and just taking you guys with me here. Um, I'm really enjoying the engagement from you guys. So it's kind of keeping me going. So I don't mind that. I really don't mind that I don't get the best images because I'm not putting the, that much time into uh, the actual photos. I'm trying to capture more of the experience through video and then hopefully every now and then switch to photo mode on my camera and actually try and get a couple of shots in between. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I've really enjoyed coming up here, spending some time with the jackdaws behind me and the occasional buzzer just circling below me. So check out these cool images from the hashtag Corvid, not COVID, and help me come up with a new hashtag because uh, I'd like to keep sharing images. Um, I'd like to keep this up. And now that we're stuck in you know, isolation in different parts of the world and it'd be really cool to share people's stories from around the world so I'd really like it if you guys could use the captions just even if it's just a little bit to describe where you're at um, where you are in the world and um, are you taking images from your window balcony garden uh, or are you not affected by this at all it would be really cool to hear from you guys um, and I'm going to keep sharing them in my videos and on Instagram stories and Facebook stories so take care I'll see you tomorrow